Hello, this is my hair journey. Growing up, I had a love-hate relationship with my hair. It felt like it had power over me. If my bangs didn't sit right, it could ruin my whole day. During times when I struggled with self-acceptance, I would bleach or dye my hair hoping to feel different, to feel more. As an Asian kid in a predominantly white neighborhood, I often felt pressure to fit in. My hair became one of the ways I tried to blend, so I'd bleach it, hoping that lighter hair would make me look more Western and help me feel less out of place. It was like I was trying to erase parts of myself, masking who I truly was, just to belong. But over time, I realized that no amount of dye could change who I was or make me feel more accepted. It took a journey of self-discovery to learn that embracing my identity rather than trying to change it was the key to finding true confidence. In 2020, when we were all stuck at home during the pandemic, something shifted. I realized I didn't want my hair to define me or dictate my worth anymore. So I made a bold decision. I buzzed all of my hair off and it was the most liberating feeling ever. And for the first time, it felt like I was truly myself. Would I recommend anybody buzz their hair? Of course, I would. It's, it's so fun. But would I do it again? Probably not. But it's not just about the haircut. It's about discovering who you are and embracing yourself in every form. It's about how you feel on the inside rather than letting your appearance dictate your emotions. Sometimes making a bold change like buzzing your hair can be a liberating way to reconnect with your true self. Challenge yourself to do something that pushes your boundaries every single day. Your worth isn't tied to how you look, but to your ability to accept and love yourself. Embrace who you are, especially when you take bold steps because you're always with yourself. And this is something I learned. Once you truly love and accept you for you, others will see that and love you just as much.